What's up, YouTubians? And especially the very merry unboxing family. This is my entry video for your giveaway galore. I guess I have to say, uh, Mama Smith, I love your boys. And now I'm going to raise my mask because I feel weird not having my glasses on. It's just my thing. <clears throat> uh, this is the... <clears throat> I guess I first off to say uh, I would like to enter your contest, your giveaway, and I need to give a shout out to Marie Gifford. She is the person who led me to your channel for this fine giveaway. So uh, Marie Gifford, when she enters, I guess she should get the additional entry form because I have subscribed to, to your account. Um, the questions you wanted us to answer, um, you want to know my age range. My age range is between 44 and 46. That's my age range. <laughs> um, and, you said, and you said interests. Um, uh, above all of my interests, I guess, would be movies. I go to the movies at least twice a week. I love going to the movies. I take everybody to the movies. Everybody, I'm friends with I've taken the movies at least once um, on my birthday for the last five years uh, we've gotten a whole group of people together and we've gone to the drive-in which was really fun so <coughs> excuse me so movies is my number one interest uh, after movies um, basketball I'm a huge NBA fan I love the Boston Celtics um, I like to, you know, this guy, I don't know if this is an interest or not, but I like to go on um, Reddit, has uh, the Reddit gifts, and like every couple months or so, they have a different thing, and you can pick a, a topic, and you have to exchange gifts with somebody that you don't know, and um, like just recently, I did one for um, uh, key, oh my god, my mind, uh, key chains, Ooh. and um and that was really cool. I, like, you, you get the, like, like I go on and I put down some information about myself, and there's various other places they can find information because it has all of your social media and stuff listed. And um, then after everybody signed up, they give you a name. So then you go and you do your research and whatever. And uh, like this last one, I got uh, a woman. And she said that she wanted her keychain to be cute and or scientific. So I was like, what am I going to do with that? So I'm looking and looking and looking and looking. And I found that in the periodic table, uh, CU can represent copper. And TE represents tetra, hydro, blah, 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 I don't know what it was. So I found this lady on Etsy, and what she did was she made little, uh, like, Lego figures of people. So I had her make a little Lego figure of uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, you know, the world-famous physicist. Or, and um, so I got that, and then... I found this other place where I got these little wood cutouts of the periodic table for those two things, and I just drilled little holes in the corner, and I just looped them on to the, to the keychain with uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. So that was my cute and scientific uh, keychain. So I sent that off, and she received it, and she thought it was the greatest thing in the world. And sometimes, you know, like I got... I got these three, uh, actually, I'm right here. This is what, I got three souvenir keychains, which is a little bit on this point side. But, you know, that's what, yeah, you got it. Sometimes you get good stuff, sometimes you don't. I, one time for uh, zombies, I got the greatest. This guy made this huge thing. He, took wood out and he busted it all up and he um I don't know if you know Tyrese from The Walking Dead he put one of the hammers that Tyrese and he attached to the board and he put up like a blood handprint and 
did all this stuff on it. It just looked awesome. I have it hanging in my garage. Well, I'm just rambling. Okay, uh, question number two. Oh, no, uh, favorite movie of all time. That's a hard one. Plus, you want an independent movies. Um, there's a movie called Meeting Evil. Uh, it stars Samuel L. Jackson. Um, it was actually made by independent production companies, although it stars you know famous people. But that's a really good movie for independent. And if you want like just a really super low-budget independent movie, there was a movie that came out. Uh, probably about a decade ago now, called Blood Car. <laughs> that was a trippy movie. Um, favorite movies of all time? I, I we so hard to narrow down to one. Uh, like for horror, I like The Devil's Rejects. Um, you know, just so many. And but my like my my little secret. What do you call it? My uh, guilty pleasure movie is uh, The Adventures of Pluto Nash. I don't know why that movie just cracks me up every time I watch it, and I think it's got a really interesting story. Uh, <clears throat> and I said, the uh, favorite book. Um, I'm going to have to go with The Complete Book of Swords. It just had a really good story. I read it. There was another book I read when I was a teenager, and I think I read it like three times, and for the life of me, I can't remember the name of that book, but it would have been between those two. Um, I think that was it. Um, just looking over the thing real quick. Uh, I posted this on Twitter, or I posted a, your the, cop, the link to your video plus some information on Twitter about this. But I also put you guys on there so you can find it. Uh, and I'm going to pass it on to a couple friends, so I'm sure they'll sign up and subscribe. All right, I am a U.S. citizen. And I am over the age of 18. Alright, and I'm going to post a link to this video in your comment section. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Enjoy the questions and watching your video. I watched a few of your videos. Oh, that's all you want to know. Uh, I watched a few of your videos. I just, I like the banter between the two of you in this, the giveaways galore video. I think it's pretty funny. So that would be my favorite video. I probably only watched about five of them so far. But yeah. Okay. Thanks. Bye.